Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today, we are gonna be using the Cricut heat press. So I wanted to show you how to get the correct temperature and all that good stuff. Um, before we get started though, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I, I, would, I would appreciate it. Um, any support coming from you is awesome. All right, so let's go to this. So I never memorize um, any of the heat temperatures for anything that I do. Um, what I do memorize is I go to Google <laughs> and I type in Cricut Heat Guide. And so it will give you this option. You would select the tool that you have. And I just, oh my gosh, my heat press, my actual real, you know, clamp down heat press just broke on me today. I used it and then it shut off and, um, I think it's dead for good, but uh, that option is obviously not on here, but um, I would always just pick the Easy Press 2 because the temperatures can go up really high on that. So I would pick Easy Press 2. I feel like that's the best one. Um, but I am actually using an Easy Press 2. I'm doing foil iron on, but you can click on the pick list and see all the different options that you have. I am using the Cricut iron on. Um, I don't always use Cricut materials, so I just select the best one that applies as most as, you know, as applicable as possible. Um, all right, the base material, I am putting this on a hooded sweatshirt. It's 50% cotton, 50% poly, so it's a cotton poly blend. But you can see here, you can click on the pick list and see all your different options. So I really like this. Sometimes, I can't remember what it was, but there have been a few times when I've looked and it didn't have the one that I wanted. Um, so I'm assuming that because it's not on here, like you're not supposed to, right? So I always pick something that would be um, sensitive as well so that I know not to overheat it. So I might, you know, pick silk for instance and click apply and it'll tell you, you know, like a low temperature for instance. But I'm gonna go back up here and I'm gonna click cotton poly blend and apply. So it went from 255 degrees to 295. So I just wanted to show you that. I am, all right, let's, let's switch out and um, let's do this. I'm gonna show you my desk. So I'm gonna move my keyboard in a second. I'm gonna make sure that you can see everything. Okay, so I'm gonna move this keyboard out of the way. I've got my heat press going. Now, I turned this on before before we started so um, I'm gonna turn it off so we can start over so you want to make sure that you're on this base okay and I'm gonna turn it on and it just goes on to I believe what was last set or in this case this is brand new this was what it came I won this from a Cricut pop-up in LA one time uh, this is the first time I'm using because I have a heat press and I like my mini um, very rarely do I use, well, never actually. <laughs> All right, so you turn it on, you hit the temperature key and we're gonna go down in temperature to 295. So if you hold it down, it goes down by 10 degrees each time. So I hit the temperature again. The time is 30 seconds. I'm gonna click on that, go down. Oh, it goes down by five seconds. So I wanna go down to 30. Oops, shoot was talking and I missed it okay and hit the time so now my temperature is set at 295 my time is set at 30 seconds this will turn green when it's ready right now it's too hot but that's okay because we can look at what we're pressing it is this gorgeous owl can you believe this it's so beautiful and if you watch my other videos then you this doesn't apply to you. This is, if you've never watched my HTV videos, and this is the first one, I'm gonna ask you, how long do you think it took me to weed this creature? <laughs> it took over an hour to cut on the Cricut Maker, um, and it took me like two minutes to weed it <laughs> because of the hack. Did you notice there's no sticky carrier sheet on the outside, right? Um, so basically I treated this HTV 
like cardstock. I cut it so that it cut through the carrier sheet so that when I pulled up, all the pieces that I normally would have to weed slowly and painfully, it just stayed on my mat. So let me show you my mat. All my weeded parts stayed on here because I cut deep. I cut past what you would normally cut for HTV. Because normally for HTV, you want it all sticking on, right? And then you get it's sticky because all the excess piece that you weeded, it's the sticky carrier sheet. So you want to make sure you put it on something to, you know, so that it doesn't pick up debris and all that other. Oh my God, it's like a hot mess right now, <laughs> right? So normally it's like this. But when you cut, through the transfer sheet, I'm basically treating this as cardstock. I wanna lift it up. I want the transfer sheet to only be on the foil that I'm keeping, everything else. So I'm gonna put this back down and see if I can line it up a little bit. Eh, something like this. Anyway, it would be completely covered. Is that amazing or what, right? So I selected, so this is foil HTV from Cricut. Um, when I went to my maker, I selected glitter cardstock. I want it to cut, I want it to think that it's a really thick material so it would cut through that carrier sheet so that I just lifted it all up. No weeding is left, which is amazing because let me show you this. I cut this yesterday just to kind of like prove a point, right? Um, this took me an hour and I still have the majority of the face left, and I still have two sections of the wings, um, and I'm just so over it. It's, it was so painful reading this. I did not enjoy it at all. So anyway, that's my hack. Um, I just kind of like discovered it. I don't think anyone else has discovered it. So if you have seen this somewhere else, please let me know because I want to give them credit. Um, and I also don't want to sound lame saying that I discovered something that I did not discover. <laughs> um, now this only works in two situations that I can think of at this time. One is the mandalas because the mandalas are all connected, right? Everything's connected. It's one whole piece. So if you do that, then you can pick up and it's all one piece and it's you know it's stiff because you have the carrier sheet still on here so it's not flimsy it's easy to handle that's one situation the other situation is i've used this example in my other videos when you layer something that's thick like these are big pieces i if you cut this instead of using the heat press like seven times right like doing the pink and then heat press peel off sticky sheet, put the next color, heat press. This is thick enough that if I cut it and treated it like cardstock, I can place it all down and maybe press in two times. I would probably press everything but the words be kind. So press all of that and then put be kind down and press again. So I think I could get away with doing this, this method in two presses. When in reality, when I first did this, this was at least uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine i think it was at least nine if not 11 presses quick presses because i didn't want to burn anything either um so those are the two scenarios that i think it would would work really well um all right heat press is ready to go so what does it say on here once i selected it it said preheat five seconds so this is definitely preheated more than five seconds light pressure uh flip and then press for an 15 seconds, slowly remove liner when cool to touch. Okay, so I'm gonna put it to the side for a minute. I'm gonna get my sweatshirt. So this was a super intricate owl, right? As you can see, it's gorgeous. Um, and look, oh my gosh, it it's just so cool. Um, I did it kind of big because it was such an intricate cut that I didn't want to make it that small. So this is going on the back of my hooded sweatshirt. So it's gonna cover the whole back. Um, and uh, let's see. So let's put this down. I'm gonna to have to press this in two sections. So even with my big heat press, this was really, really big. So I wanna make sure that my strings are up. Okay, and I think what I'm gonna do is 
I'm gonna put a pad in between so that, let me see. If I use this, how many presses can I get on here? Oh, that's not good, it's not gonna cover. I'm gonna put the other press. Cause I wanna be able to do this in two and you can see like if I put this down like here, this, these pieces on the side won't get the pressure that I want it to, so I won't be using that. Let's see, I thought I brought out, give me a second, oh here it is. Okay, this one's wider, okay, this is better. So I'm gonna stick this in between. I want to make sure that this gets the, I'm using this line of the hood to help me line this up. And let's see if we can get this. I'm straining it out as much as I can. Okay, let's put our owl down. I want to make sure, okay, so I'm gonna move this a little bit. I'm gonna press from the bottom first, okay? And the reason is because I want this to be down here so that if the hood comes down, I mean, this you're only gonna see the full owl if my hood is up. So I kinda want it like right around there. So, you know what, I can do it from the top. I'm gonna move this just a little bit more up. So I'm aligning this piece to the middle of my hood, and then also down here, it looks pretty even. I'm gonna move my little piece in here up a little bit more, okay. All right, so that's all down. Now the carrier sheet is on here, and because this is cotton poly blend, I'm gonna put my heat press directly on here. Okay, for 30 seconds, let's do this. Okay, so while this is on, what I've noticed is my wings aren't getting covered. So I'm gonna have to go back and do my wings or I'm gonna have to do two, two, and then one. So I think this is gonna be a four suction press. Um, with my other, I'm gonna have to use the tough one because I feel like some of this might get overheated. Uh, that was fast. Let me move that out of the way. Um, okay. So beautiful. Okay. Um, what should we do? Okay, let's do this section right here. So I'm going to put this up here like that. I'm going to move. I'm gonna move this down and move the inside piece over as well. All right, so that's all straight. This is down. I'm gonna put it like this. Actually, I'm gonna put it maybe like this. Okay, this definitely has not gotten any heat. Okay, so let's do this. Such a beautiful piece. Um, and I think just from knowing what I know through poly tape, after I pull off the liner, I want to do another press just to give it like the final touch down. Because <laughs> I didn't flip it over for 15 seconds because it's such a thick sweatshirt. I don't even think I can really heat it that way. Okay, so I'm lifting that up. Okay, so up here it didn't, you can see it's, so now I'm looking to see where I need to go. So I'm gonna do this side right here and then I'm gonna do the tail at the end. 
So let's move this over a little bit. Let's make sure it's supported. Okay. And I'm actually just gonna cover the whole thing because I'm worried about it getting too much heat. So it's starting right around here. So beautiful, and I love this hack. So um, I've never done an intricate mandala for HTV because I didn't want to weed it. Um, I've done it with paper because I knew I could lift it up and it's all one piece. But I've never put the two together, so I'm super excited about this. All right, this is almost done. Okay. All right, now we just have the bottom. So I'm gonna scoot everything down. Scoot this down as well. And the reason why you wanna do the bottom one as well as in between, I mean, I guess you don't need the bottom one, but you definitely wanna do the in between. This front side has like pockets right here, you know, like in the, in the belly, like in front of the belly. So, you want to make sure those seams don't inter like don't get in the way, don't interfere with this piece up here. So, all right, I'm gonna put maybe right around here so that doesn't get burnt. All right, let's do this last piece, yay! Okay. So now all we have left is we gotta peel off the liner, and when we peel off the liner, um, it's going to resist a little bit, right? So you know you're kind of like pulling up a little bit so i want to press it one last time after i pull off the liner just to get it to anchor down to our sweatshirt so we will see about that and this part should be super cool so we should be able to peel it off right now all right oh, so gorgeous okay so i'm gonna start from the top and see if i can you know peel off the liner Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, can you see it? Gorgeous. But you can kind of see this is pooling against the, the fabric. Not that it matters, it's totally, like you can see it's smooth, it's on the sweatshirt. But I just want to, I don't know, I, I would feel better <laughs> knowing that I pressed it one last time for it to really adhere. And I'm going to um, use the Teflon sheet so it will protect the, the foil. Oops. My carrier sheet ripped a little bit. So I still had a piece on, which I don't think matters. Eventually it would fall off, right? Okay, here we go. Let's see, it's starting to come off here. I'm almost wondering if I should go from the bottom up. Because the intricate pieces stick up this way. All right, I'm gonna see if I can peel from the bottom. It's going. It's about to hit the camera. Ooh, there are still some pieces that go both ways. Okay. These pieces are so annoying. All right, I'm pulling down. It's so intricate that oh, hold on, that one popped up a little bit, right there. So hold on. 
Let's get one more press right there. It's so beautiful and it feels really flushed with the fabric with the sweatshirt, so it's gonna look really good. should be good now let's see and where am I up here let's go down somewhere so when you're pulling this off you do want to I mean this is such a large piece um, you just want to keep an eye out to see if there's any spots where like the HTV didn't adhere then we you know you can just apply more heat and get it down at that point Here we go. And then I'll run my, oh, look it. Here's the carrier sheet. It's hard to see, let me see. I mean, even that's beautiful. I should give this to my daughter and let her like stamp or paint it or something. It's a great template. Although I ripped some pieces of it. All right, let me see. Um, let's see if we can feel, oops, right here, I can feel it. Okay. All right, so I'm now going to put both pieces in and I'm just going to run and give it a little bit of heat just to make sure it's all down and good. Do I feel anything? Nope. Okay, I'm going to put my Teflon sheet over it. All right, let's do this. It already got its full heat. I'm just because I pulled at it, I just want to give it a little bit more heat. All right, I think we're good. Ta da! Oh my god. Ooh! A little hot. Okay. I love it. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Minutes, minutes to weed. <laughs> All right. I will see you guys next time. Comments, questions, please let me know. Um, and also, you know, I'm not a big HTV person, right? I like to use HTV in quirky ways, but I love the fact that I was able to experiment with it and, you know, come up with something different. So I'm totally open for that. If, even if it's something you don't see me doing, if you have an idea, please let me know. Um, I would love to waste a lot of material to figure this out for you. <laughs> Let me show you all the ones that I wasted. Um, this is not one. That was, I wanted to weed that one, but this was one. I realized that I didn't cut deep enough. So I would say, uh, I don't know, 75, maybe even 85% of it did cut well enough, but it didn't weed all the way. And it's such a gorgeous purple foil-ish that I'm disappointed I can't use this. Well, I can use it if I weed it and well, we know how I feel about that. <laughs> um, I have another one. So I am not opposed to wasting materials to test things out. Just let me know. All right, see you guys.